Reed and Jeremy Win Fix Me uh, Book and Work <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so the first one uh, I don't know when I was like uh, at high school I don't know the differences between uh, British English and American English So I... <laughs> Okay, let's say hi together. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to IELTS Chiang Bae. Again, today I'm with teacher Jeremy. And together we provide you another meaningful content. And so guess what is this about? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as an English teacher working for nearly 15 years, I'm still struggling with some very basic sound and I'm still learning on the late daily basis so all the words that I'm still struggling I take note very carefully and I want to share with you guys that I'm still on my learning journey so you guys are not alone together we study together right so let's start with some very basic pair and now uh, Jeremy even like experience learning uh, teaching it a lot right teaching them a lot the first uh, pair let me read and Jeremy will fix me uh, book and work <laughs> okay, uh, so, the first one, uh, walk. 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 Okay, better. Walk. Yeah. Yes, you guys know that. Uh, before that, I don't know when I was like uh, at high school, I don't know the differences between uh, British English and American English. So I tend to use, I tended to pronounce walk, which is an American way. And then now when I have more uh, British friends and surrounded by a lot of foreigners and they start correcting for me the differences between US and UK. So US we say walk. American they say walk. Walk. <laughs> let, let, let me say and then you fix me, okay? I often go for a walk in the morning. Okay. Yeah, I often go for a walk in the morning. You just say, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you say American way, yes. And then the second one is W O R K is work, yeah, work, work. I feel like it is a uh, no, not the uh, sound, but like you open your mouth bigger. I, that's how I feel, yeah. work, work, work. So you open your mouth bigger and then you know it. So, like, uh, where do you work? Yeah, where do you work? Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. Actually, either uh, way is okay. It either just depends. Okay. Yeah, mm. what teacher you have. And yeah. Neither mm. uh, is wrong. Mm, 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 mm. Neither is wrong. And mm. just my preference because I have a strong obsession with the British accent. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Okay. The next one we have three words. Very confusing. Ul, wo, and wa. <laughs> is this correct? Uh, first one is uh, wool. W o o l. Yeah. So wool. 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 Yes. Wool. Good. So, l, 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 wool. 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 It's the thick hair of the sheep that grows on the body of the sheep. Yeah, the sheep. Uh, yeah. Or you obviously it will be uh, the material that you uh, will make into clothes, mm. preferably uh, jumpers, mm, uh, mm. Uh, sweaters, or something like uh, that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I can say uh, this uh, sweater is made of. Wool. Yeah, this sweater is wool. made of wool. Yes. Wool. Mm. Okay. The second one um, is like behind our back. This one, you guys see the vertical structure, and we say uh, wall. Wool. Yeah, wall. Wool. Ah, so I feel like this one is like wool, like wool, but yeah, this one is like wool. Yeah. Wool. Wool. Am I correct? Yes. Wool. 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 Uh, so we say white wool. White wool. Wool. Yeah. And the last one is. War. War. Am I correct? War. Yeah, war. War. War, like war, but like longer. I think that one is difficult. War. Am I correct? Yeah. So, uh, war. War. Mm. Okay, so let me say three words at the same okay. time. Okay. Um, wool. Yes. War. War, good. And war. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> it's so hard. Good job. My God, this one so hard. Okay, and the next pair is so the the third one is ship or sheep. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, so the first one is ship. Ship. But how? But also, you just say sip a coffee. You remember? S you say sip. S I P. Yes. Like sip, like you you drink coffee and then ha have a sip. Yes. 
have a sip. So it sounds exact. Ah, but this one is um, sip. Okay. So if you drink, okay, can I borrow this? <laughs> if you drink, let's say a cup of tea. Mm. So have a sip. Take a sip. Take a, a sip. sip. Yes. Take a sip. So like very very short. And then you have sheep. 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 This one sheep. Yeah. Like a big cruise. Big yeah, cruise. cruise ship. Big yeah. cruise. Yeah, big cruise ship. Yeah. And then black sheep of the family. Sean the sheep. Sean the sheep. Sean the sheep. You know that that cartoon? Yes. <laughs> That's your favorite. No. <laughs> I didn't like it. No, I, I, I remember it, but not. Uh, oh, it's so it's funny. It's not very clear. It laughed my head off. So funny. Right, and the next pair, I'm sure it's very easy. We have sour and shower. Yeah, it's good. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah. It's so easier, uh, the right? first one, S O U R, what is that, Jeremy? Uh, sour. Sour. Uh, yeah, so it's just uh, something that tastes uh, unpleasant. Like lemon. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. Something juice. that tastes and sour. Not sweet. Uh, or unpleasant or something like that mm -hmm. yeah and the second one is uh, how often do you have a shower Jeremy <laughs> shower uh, shower yes uh, uh, I shower twice a day ah so it could be a verb it could be the noun if it is a noun then it's a washing device yes but also interesting um, when we have heavy rain yes then we say uh, uh, heavy shower heavy shower heavy, uh, heavy showers Heavy showers. Yeah, heavy showers in the afternoon. Mm, heavy showers in the afternoon. So this pair is easy, right? Yeah. So now let's come to uh, very tricky words. I myself rem uh, I myself take note a lot, like a lot because uh, I learn to like um, on a daily basis. So those are the list we uh, I will read and Jeremy will uh, correct for to me. My best ability. <laughs> Number one is aunt. Yeah, aunt. Which is a negative of uh, anot. And then won't, which is were not. I often say uh, wasn't, so that's that's very wrong. Yeah. It must be. Well, won't. you can have wasn't, but no. obviously wasn't is a. Uh... Wasn't is this one S W U A S N apostrophe T. Yes. But this one is won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just right. saying wasn't uh, the negative of was. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Uh, obviously aren't mm. uh, are not. Mm, mm. Um, is the negative yeah yeah uh, and then uh, were mm. okay um, mm. um weren't mm. uh, is the opposite yeah uh, want the negative want. of a were but to be honest it sounds like this one to me if you say want same right mm. same pronunciation yeah. right these two are quite uh, uh difficult yeah okay. yeah, uh, yeah maybe confusing very confusing uh, were and was uh, were and weren't uh plural and yes. was uh, wasn't yes, singular. Uh, singular. Back to front. <laughs> Back to front. And the next one is perfume. I used to say perfume, but that's wrong. It's perfume, right, Jeremy? Uh, yeah, I say perfume. You say perfume? Yes. You sound like the second dress. It should be the first dress. Let me check. Perfume. Perfume. First dress. Yeah, but that's posh. The posh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfume, first stress. Uh, second one, prioritize. Prioritize. What do you prioritize? Um, something that's uh, yeah, well, you prioritize more important things than uh, the most important. Yeah, thing. less important yeah. things. Yeah. And the next one, my gosh, I just been corrected. I pronounce I pronounce this word wrongly years, so many years until my friend uh, Aaron he uh, corrected. He say I have to pronounce reason, reason. Right? Yeah, reason. Reason is like rise, rose, reason. Like um, the sun rise in the sun, east. The sun rises. Rises in yeah. the east. Yeah. yeah. And then we have this one is the thing that you wear like a bracelet, a necklace, or earrings. Jeremy, what is that? Uh, jewelry. Jewelry. Yeah. Jewelry. 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 And then we come to the color, um, mave. Mave? Mave. Mave? Like uh, purple? Uh, yeah, I guess Mave. Maybe that in some countries they will change to Mauve. Mauve. Yeah, Mauve mm. or uh, Mave. Mave, yeah. And then we have Vogue. Vogue. Uh, which is the name of the... Uh, magazine. Magazine, Yeah, yes. Vogue. Vogue. Yes. Is there any meaning for that in Vietnamese? Ah, uh, sorry, in English. <laughs> uh, it's just the name of the magazine, right? Vogue. 
Yeah, it's a name that there's also it's uh, in a popular song, right? From mm. uh, Madonna. Madonna. Uh, and uh, some uh, cars will name mm. their brand mm. that. Mm. Mm. And then we have medieval or medieval. Yeah, med, med, medieval. Medieval is uh, the time in the past. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then in J. Ingenuity. 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 Is it the same with ingenious? Ingenuity is like uh, intelligent. Yes. Ah, yeah. And uh, this one, me and Jeremy, we just struggle. Uh, Vermicelli. Yeah, Vermicelli. Vermicelli. Very good. Vermicelli. Yeah. Actually, it's a new one for me. Ah, uh, yeah. Interesting, right? Yeah. It's I'll a carb noodles, guys. It's a carb noodles. We say bún no mien. Uh, Thai, the Thai cuisine, they use that a lot. Yeah. And then sai. Sai. What is sai? <laughs> <laughs> he just did it. Complain, right? Yeah. Complain. Sai. Yeah. Mm. You're not happy with something, but rather than uh, uh, saying saying it or opening your mouth, then you just uh, sai. Mm, yeah. Perennial. Perennial. Like last long forever. Mm, yes. Any flowers up perennial? You can think of off the top of your head. This is one flower in Vietnamese we call hoa bích tử. Uh, but I don't know how to say it in English. Right. And this one is sculpture. Uh, sculpture. Scu- sculpture. Yeah, sculpture. Am I correct? Yeah. Sculpture. Uh, it's like the. Um, how, how to describe that? Sculpture. Uh, sculpture is like a. Um, Stone? Yeah, of, of someone or something. Mm. Yeah, someone that's, famous. Or mm. Usually the sculpture is someone that's uh, like. Uh, Maybe they've died, mm. uh, but they've done something mm. for the country or their symbol or something. That is like monument. That. What you are yeah. talking in monument? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sculpture of the uh, figure then. Figure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A figure. Uh, and then you see a lot in museum or exhibition. Mm. Then reminisce. 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 Reminisce means you think of the good old days. Yeah. Think of mm. the good old days. Mm. Yeah. The good old days. <laughs> Sacrifice. My God. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Very famous song of uh, Elton John. Is that Elton John? This a sac- uh, I, I, oh, could, I, I can't could, remember. I could be wrong, but uh, I, it I might learned, be. I learned this one from the song uh, uh, of uh, Elton John, uh, might Lion be. King or whatever. I don't know. And then we have sarcastic. Sarcastic. Jeremy, you have to explain for them. This is English cultural. Yeah, sarcastic. Uh, sarcastic. Sarcastic. Um, sarcastic. Sarcastic. The stress is always before ik of the sentence, yeah, right? sarcastic. Um, it just means that I guess that you uh, have a dig at someone, like a dig, you know, like you have a dig or a prod, but can you you, 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 you try to do it in a, a you, polite you, way without blurring out exactly what you want to say. You have a sarcastic comment. Have, 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 have a what? D-I-G. So, a D- yeah, dig. Dig at someone. Like D-I-G. Prod, yeah, D-I-G. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right, right. Okay, sarcastic. And then we have specific, guys. So many of my students pronounce this word wrong. It's not spare, it's a uh, specific. Means particular. Okay, specific. yes. And the next one, challenging. Finite. Finite. Is it limited or unlimited? Limited. Limited. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you look at me, limited. <laughs> you were looking at me. <laughs> and then, gadget. A gadget. What is that? Uh, Can I call your phone as a gadget? I guess you could, mm. but a gadget is just like a gimmicky thing, you know, like a, like it says, a little gimmicky thing, mm. you know, something that you uh, <coughs> that's very handy, mm. yeah, or something that you couldn't do without. Mm. I mean, a phone. I guess it is in a way a gadget, but then in another way it, mm. it isn't because oh. you can do so much with a phone. A gadget mm. maybe will just uh, not be so diverse, right? You can mm. just do it for one thing oh, nice. uh, or something like that, mm. you know what I mean? Uh, next one we have a comb. Comb, not comb, comb, C-O-M-B. Or we say uh, another one is tomb. Tomb. T-U-M. Uh, sorry, T O M B. Yeah, T O M B. Tomb. You see it in Egypt with the pharaoh. Yeah, the tomb is basically the, they put the what they put the body, body in, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in a tomb, tomb instead tomb. of a coffin. Not coffin, in a tomb, yeah, yeah, yes. A tomb. Encyclopedia, am I right? Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia mm. means it includes all detailed information. And we have the idiom, a walking 
Encyclopedia. Yes. You heard of that? Mm. Mm. The encyclopedia is just uh, the big, thick. Yeah, but if, if I say Jamie is a walking encyclopedia. Yes, it means that you know a lot. You know everything. Yeah. yeah. Mediterranean. Yeah. Where is that? Mediterranean. Some Mediterranean countries that you know. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Greece. Greece. Mm. Yeah. Some country, and he only named Greece. <laughs> <laughs> the Mediterranean is big. Yes. Uh, the Mediterranean, the main the one, I would say, Greece. is the Greek islands, right, Greek. all the way along. Fragile. Fragile. Uh, easily broken. Yes. Mm. Fertile or fertile. Uh, fertile. Fertile. Fertile land. It means you can uh, grow crops. Crops yeah. easily. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Dilapidated. Uh, dilapidated. Dilapidated means uh, in a bad condition. Yes. Mm, okay, like um, drafty. Drafty. Drafty hole. Drafty means. Drafty uh, means drafty. that you have a chill or uh, cold, cold coming through somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like uh, maybe it's drafty uh, mm. near the door in mm -hmm. the winter yeah. or uh, near the window. Mm. Which is different from draft beer. We just argue a bit. Draft beer. What kind of beer is that? Fresh. Yeah, draft beer is uh, beer. yeah on the on the top. You you try the the black beer before the draft black beer before no the Belgium black, ah the black, Belgium the Belgium uh, black draft beer is very delicious, and then envisage how how do you say that envisage envisage like um, envisage in right not en envisage envisage guy it means you I think you could pronounce that a couple of ways right in or in you know in envisage. Envisage. No, only one word. Envisage. 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 So envisage it means you imagine or you expect that something will happen in the future. Yes. Mm. How do you envisage your year in 2025? Next year. Blooming. Mm. Blooming, yeah. <laughs> Coming up roses. Okay. Smelling the roses. <laughs> so, smelling of roses, yeah. yeah. And then we have ruin. Ruin. Uh, I used to pronounce uh, ruin, but very wrong. Ruin. Ruin. Ruin means. Um, ruin means that you spoil something. Destroy. Yeah. Mm. Spoil or destroy. So we can say like the building lies in ruin. Yes. Mm. And then fluid. Fluid. Is that the liquid? Yes. Fluid. Uh, yes. Fluid. And then fuel or fuel. Yeah. Fuel. 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 Yes, yeah, good. Fuel. Yeah, fuel okay, is what okay. you put in yeah. your uh, car or yeah. Yeah, your bike. Mm -hmm. And then premise. 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 Is that like um, I don't understand this word much. Premise. The opening of something. Yes. An idea or theory. Assumption. The same bit assumption. What is premise, Jeremy? Yeah, it's just an i uh, an idea or a theory mm, uh, an idea in a statement theory. or an mm. action. So premise, not premise, guy. Premise, and then we have initiative. Uh, initiative. Like new idea. A new idea, mm. or you uh, you uh, take the initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take, take the, initiative. Take the bull by the horns. Take the, the. We say take the bull. Take the bull be a bull. You take the bull by the horns. Take the bull by the horn means. Um, you don't wait for someone to take an opportunity, you do ah, it yourself. You are um, proactive. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 interesting. Minute. This one interesting. If it is a noun, you say minute. But this is an adjective, you say minute. It means? Uh, small. Very small. Yeah, small or tiny. A minute amount of dust. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh. Lingerie. I uh, know. Lingerie. We had this uh, conversation. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, lingerie. Lingerie, lingerie, or lingerie, mm. lingerie. Uh, so it's a French word, as Jeremy say, it's a uh, women's uh, women's bra. Okay, and then tusk or tusk, tusk. Uh, tusk. Tusk. Is the horns of the. Not horn trunk. No, tusk. The tusk is a long trunk. And yes, 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 yes. The trunk is the I, trunk. The trunk. <laughs> <laughs> the trunk is in. Let's imagine I'm an elephant, right? So this is a trunk in the middle, yeah, and then the yeah, two uh, long horns are the tusks. Ah, yeah, it's white. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the two long horns, the same as in yeah. uh, woolly mammoth. Woolly what? Uh, the woolly mammoth have the tusks. Woolly uh, mammoth. Yeah. Woolly what does mammoth. this mean? It's just an animal, the same ah, as an elephant, but uh, like uh, mammoth? years and years ago. Long. 
Tusk. Yeah, Tusk. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you so much, Amy. We have a very uh, meaningful uh, pronunciation series. I hope you guys really enjoy it and learn from it. Work on your pronunciation. The more you pronounce correctly, the higher mark you can get for your IELTS speaking. Because don't forget, it's one of the speaking criteria in your IELTS speaking. So yeah, we wish the best of luck to you guys. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> Uh, have a good day to everyone. Bye. 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 And aftershave is the same, but with aftershave you don't have no spray. You put it in your hand and then you go like that. Sorry. So um, this one, this uh, aftershave. It's the yes, it's exactly aftershave. the same. same. The difference is one has the the squeezer, squeezy. Squeezy. Yeah. Squeezy. Yeah. yeah. And the other one doesn't. Mm. And uh, the aftershave without the squeezy, it's usually pure, very strong. Uh, and yeah, then, when it's yeah. over the toilet, it's usually weakened uh, mm. and it, you don't have to put it on your hands or anything. Mm -mm. Yeah. Right, interesting, right, okay. So, Jamie, do you like perfume? Now, pronunciation, guys, perfume, not perfume. I, uh, did I pronounce correctly? I, I perfume. Would, yeah, I would say perfume. Perfume, mm. yeah. So, do you like perfume? Uh, do I like it to wear myself or do I like other people to wear it? Perfume, it's just a general word for something like that. To make um, you smell good. Okay, for me, uh, when I was younger, I, I guess maybe more so mm. then. Mm. Uh, but now, to be honest, it doesn't really bother me now. Mm. Um, if I'm going out so for a special occasion or something like that, um, yes, uh, I, I will... Put on I will something. squirt a little bit on, mm -hmm. but just for everyday things and mm -hmm. uh, whatever, then no. Mm -hmm. And and even if I don't put it on, it it doesn't bother me. Like when I was younger, uh, maybe I used to have 15 or 20 mm -hmm. bottles. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, that's uh, a lot. Uh, but now, uh, now I just have two. I have uh. my two favorites. One for the special occasion. Mm -hmm.